Hi, my name's Steve, and I help businesses to import data into QuickBooks. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you a feature that's available in the QuickBooks Accounts Edition called Batch Enter. What this does is it takes transactions that you have in an Excel sheet, like checks or invoices or deposits, and enables you to copy and paste that directly into QuickBooks. So I'm going to show you how you can do that in QuickBooks now. So this feature is exclusively in the Accountants Edition of QuickBooks. So we select the Accountant menu and select Batch Enter Transactions. So on this Batch Enter Transaction screen, you'll notice that you have the option to select, first off, the transaction type that you're importing. So that supports checks, deposits, credit card charges, bills and invoices. I'm going to select invoices and credit memos. Once we've selected that, we've also got the option to choose the accounts receivable account that will be used on those invoices. So I'll leave that as accounts receivable. You also have the ability to customize the columns within this screen. So here you can add additional columns, we can remove them, or you can reorder them, depending on how your Excel data is structured. So let me show you that. So this is a sample template of some transactions that I have created in Excel. So as you'll notice, I'll drag this down so you can see, I've arranged this so that the columns in the Excel file match the columns in QuickBooks. So in column A, we have a date, column B, we have the number, and so on, the customer job underneath and the terms. So this is quite important because obviously your Excel data is going to change or will never be in that, may not be in that particular order. So it's important to make sure it is in that order because what we're going to do in the next stage is copy the data using a selection. I'm going to press Control C to copy it to my clipboard then select the first cell at the top hand left hand corner right click and paste from clipboard so now this data has been pasted from excel into quickbooks quickbooks does a quick validation to make sure that the customer jobs exist and that the items exist as well and you'll notice that there are some here that don't match now these have been highlighted in red but what we can do is QuickBooks gives us the ability to make a quick add of those. So if we tab through them, we'll get a prompt and to tell us that that particular customer job doesn't exist and do we want to quick add it? So I'm going to say quick add and it's added it into the customer job list in QuickBooks. So once we've gone through the grid and corrected any red highlighted cells, then we can actually go through and batch post those transactions directly into QuickBooks. Before I do that, you'll notice one of these bottom line here is actually a negative amount. So that will be posted as a credit memo. So when we're ready, click on the Save Transaction button. We'll confirm whether we want them to go to the Accounts Receivable account. We'll say yes and we'll go ahead and save those transactions. I'll give you a summary at the end to tell us how many of those transactions have been posted into QuickBooks. To see those, let's close. So there we can see the transaction that we just posted into QuickBooks. So in summary, that's how you can batch enter transactions from Excel directly into your QuickBooks Enterprise Accountants Edition. So I think you'll agree, that's a pretty good feature, especially if you've got a lot of data in Excel that you want to get into QuickBooks. But there are limitations. It's only available in the QuickBooks Accountants Edition. It doesn't have the ability to modify transactions. 
it's restricted to certain types of transactions and lists and it doesn't have a great comprehensive feature set like customized fields and so on. So some of those features are available in the data import utilities that you can find in the Intuit marketplace. So in another movie, I'm going to talk through some of those and how they can get you to another advanced level of importing into QuickBooks. Thanks for tuning in. Bye for now.